Just rested there and what's happened now is I've got an artillery rounds landed or has a mine gone off. At the moment they're trying to work out if it is artillery. Um, there's only one round at the moment. They're still trying to work out if it was mortars or artillery as bombs that get thrown and dropped in or if it was a mine, someone's gone on over a mine. At the moment they're trying to work out if any Pashmerga in that area any patrols to see if they've been hit by a mine. Um, if not, it's probably a goat herd that was going upside the hill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a bit of cover just in case it is mortars or artillery and more rounds start coming in this way. <coughs> They're putting that down to a possible mine strike as there's no reports of any artillery or mortar being fired by the Iranians or onto the Pashmoga. They're still trying to get communications to make sure it wasn't a Pashmoga patrol that was hit by the mine and make sure there's no casualties at the moment. It just goes to show how a place of such natural beauty like this is just littered with minefields. And that dates back nearly 20 years ago to the Iran Iraq War, where they've just thrown mines out with no care or diligence to mark them out so in the future they could go and pull them back in. They're just left here to rot. And the things with mines, they sit there and they wait. And it's a matter of time till someone stands on them or people like the UN come in and clear this area. So it just highlights how dangerous it is for the guys here to actually find it. My time with the Pashmoga of the Kurdistan Democratic Party of Iran has come to an end. Living alongside his men in these mountains has given me an insight of how far the KDP are prepared to go in order to get a free, independent Iranian Kurdistan. With many of these men outlawed by Iran and forever living a fear of arrest and possible execution, there is no wonder they remain here on the front line in the mountains between Iraq and Iran. There is no doubt these men are brave warriors and are prepared to lay down their lives in the hope that one day they will be able to live free, independent and out of the shadow of Iranian persecution and fear. <laughs>